Uh, hello readers, this is the first Comic Revolts um, audio review, and today I'll be talking about Mark Millar's and Steve McNiven's Old Man Logan. Uh, just before I go into detail on the actual comic book, I'd like to talk about uh, his previous work on Wolverine. Um, Mark Millar previously wrote uh, Wolverine Enemy of a State, which was about Wolverine being brainwashed by the Hand, a criminal organization, and being sent to assassinate key superheroics so that the Hand could take over the world. Old Man Logan is a lot different from Enemy of State in that it's more like a Glenn Eastwood and Western crossed with Fallout 3. Um, it's really interesting and it's very original. And the basic premise is that 50 years ago, the world was taken over by the bad guys and they killed many, many superheroes. Lots went into hiding and this is what Wolverine did. Um, however, something happened to him, we don't know what it is, and because of this he's promised himself never to pop his claws again and to never kill anyone. Uh, 50 year, in the present day he uh, has a family and he's living on the East Coast, now known as the Hulk Land, which is ruled by the Hulk and his cannibalistic children. Um, and when he doesn't have the money to pay uh, rent, he's given a death threat and says that if he doesn't uh, pay within f if he doesn't pay in four weeks' time, then they'll kill his family and everyone he knows. Uh, then comes along Hawkeye, a former Avenger who's now blind and an old man, and he says he has a package he needs to deliver to New Babylon, which is in the President's Quarter, which is ruled by the Red Skull, and they have to travel along. They tra have to travel across America to deliver this package. And along the way, they'll dis they'll meet a lot of their former enemies and bump into quite a few surprises, which I won't go into detail here. It was a really interesting story, and it took some interesting detours, and it, it reinvented a lot of the villains that we know, and it it was it was just it was just really interesting and very fun. Um, there were some detours that I think weren't as necessary and perhaps one is interesting for example they they in Mark Millar uses the moloids in this which are basically what he describes as Earth's uh, immune system who are there to kill the humans and basically just make Earth Earth again and they swallow entire towns and kill a lot of people and there's a detour where uh, Wolverine happens to be in one of the towns that are eaten, and the moloid, and he has to face the moloids and get out of this cave. And it's interesting, but it doesn't really add anything to the story. Um, but then again, there are some really, really interesting uh, chapters. So, for example, in the when they're in the kingdom of the Kingpin, funnily enough, um, he, uh, Hawkeye's daughter, who's also the granddaughter of uh, Spider-Man, uh, is taken prisoner by the Kingpin for trying to assassinate him. And it's an interesting plot where Hawkeye and Logan are, set, are sent by um, Spider-Woman's mother to go and save her. It's a very interesting story, uh, and it has a twist ending, and this is really what Old Man Logan is composed of. It's composed of about two or three short stories set in this new world along his travel, and then, like, one great ending, which I won't spoil for you here, um, that ties everything together. Also along the way we'll discover why Wolverine won't pop his claws, and I won't ruin it for you guys here, but I couldn't have imagined a better, a, a more horrific or better way for him to become a pacifist and for him to be broken in the way that he is. It's a really, really dark story, and Mark Millar certainly is at the top of his game here. Um, Steve McNiven's artwork, likewise, I mean, he really, this world is really grounded, the characters look brilliant, and the world looks brilliant. Uh, it's it's a beautiful book to look at, and it really is, just like a Clint Eastwood Western mixed with Fallout 3. It's really interesting, I don't think there's ever been anything like it before. Um, I'd be interested to hear if there was anything like it before, but I don't believe there was. Um, and it's something completely new. It's... I don't, it's, it's just very interesting, and you'll ha I definitely recommend you to check it out. Um, there, perhaps my favourite moment in the book was the final battle at the end, who I won't tell you who it's with, because that would mean 
you know what the big plot twist is, which, again, I don't want to spoil for you, but eventually in the story, uh, Logan will come and meet the Red Skull. And we learn a lot about what the Red Skull did during uh, 50 years ago and what his role was, uh, and how he is now ruling over America, now that he's achieved his dream, and he's, re he's almost remade the world in his image. Um... It's, it's interesting, that chapter, and it's perhaps my favourite moment in the book, when Logan meets the, meets the Red Skull. However, there was um, one disappointment that I had with the book, other than the Moloids. And that was that Doctor Doom was never really um, examined in this world, to say. Uh, we see him for perhaps one page, looking over a hill as Wolverine and the Hawkeye move on. And there's no real significance in this, because he never shows up again in the book, and I was disappointed by this because Doctor Doom looks awesome in, in this, he's got a new uh, jacket and uh, cloak, and he, he's very grim looking, uh, as, he, as he always has been, but this moment is never taken advantage of, and I would really like to see him uh, in this new world, but we never really get to see him, and that's a disappointment. Um, the ending is left open for a sequel, and I hope they do do one, because perhaps we can explore, uh, we could, perhaps we can explore Doctor Doom a little bit more in the sequel, and I hope we do, because it really was a missed opportunity. Um, and I'd also like to see the tie-up and the inevitable battle that will come around from the story arc with, uh, uh, with Hawkeye's daughter. It's a really interesting story, it's very original, um, and it's it's interesting how Mark Millar has basically taken the current Marvel Universe and has remade it in his own image. Not remade it in his own image, but remade it in this way. It, it's a very simple idea, but he goes into a lot of detail about the characters and about the story. It's really unprecedented, and I highly recommend you to uh, Im immediately go and buy it. It really is an amazing story. I think you'll like it, and it's very new. Um, so that's it for today. Uh, if you guys have any comments or would like to contribute to one of these audio shows, just let me know, and I'll uh, talk to you. All right, bye.